I was brought up in a single parent household for the majority of my life. So the last thing I wanted was to repeat that because I know how I felt. I had an amazing mother, but she was busy. She had her own business, she had kids. And so sometimes you don't get some of those needs met. In 2010 when I got here, I pursued college and I got a job, fresh start. When I found out I was going to be a single parent, my fears were that I wasn't enough to be a great parent or that I didn't have enough to be a parent. I hadn't finished my degree. I didn't have a career. How am I gonna be able to make this work? Driving through the neighborhood that I, I once lived in, it just reminds me that I had to come out of some brokenness I had to come out of some darker times where I maybe didn't have as much hope. I was just in a uncomfortable and unstable situation, some living situations, and I will say some, some mental situations also. I longed for a peaceful situation, and I did long for a more healthy situation. It was so uncomfortable, but I still was like, there's no way out of this right now. Within a two-year span, I lost my grandmother, I lost my dad, um, and my mom was and is still sick. I was dealing with depression and everything was gone. And I was just like, this cannot be life for me. My, my hope was running low. Everything changed for me when I went to a community fair at my college. Um, there was a table set up with a Buckner representative there, and she told me that I was perfect for the program. There was some fear there. I didn't know what I was walking into. And then within two weeks, I did a couple of interviews, and I was offered a, a housing spot there. My daughter and I were. It was amazing. I was a long way from being healed but it boosted my hope again that things could get better, that they were getting better. Before Buckner, I, I was broken. And I was filled with some hopelessness that I have overcome now. that I am most grateful for that came from Buckner. We had to save and take financial workshops and do Bible study and worry about your mental health. Like it just painted a picture of self-sufficiency to be able to, to have hope to do things. It didn't make sense for me to look for a house, in my opinion, um, but I did. And it happened fast. I didn't hope for something so grand for myself. Me ending up in my own home, hope was definitely restored. Faith was restored. Joy was restored. I pass Buckner every day on the way home. Like on the way home from work, I pass where we were and I get to drive to where we are and that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. So when I pull up to my own home right now, I feel so much joy. I feel proud. I feel full of hope. I feel energized because this is truly my safe place, and I'm so excited to have this for my daughter and I. I'm in my own home. I am, and I'm proud. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs>